What up, Whiskey Ginger fans? Welcome to the show. Hey, like the show, subscribe to it, share it to a friend, tell everyone you know what we got going on here at the Whiskey Ginger Show. My guest is Chris DeStefano. Chrissy D is on the show today. So funny. What a goofball. What a sweet little goofball. My uh, my little my little uh, overindulgent boy, when he comes into town, we always eat way too much. He always gets pancakes for the table. Uh, such a funny dude. Go see him live. Go to ChristyComedy.com. You can see him. He's on the road. Uh, me and Bobby Lee are doing a bunch of shows for the Bad Friends Tour. We're each doing stand-up and then bits from the show and live participation stuff. It's a two-hour show of fun and chaos and madness. Come see us out on the road. Uh, we're going to be uh, doing uh, Salt Lake City, and then we're doing uh, Reno. Uh, we're doing Niagara Falls and Windsor and Sacramento and Temecula, and then we end this whole jazz uh, over there in Las Vegas, Nevada on 420. 420, man. Come see us. Uh, go to badfriendspod.com for those tickets. Badfriendspod.com. Enough rambling. Let's go to the episode. In here, we pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. You were that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are oh, hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say the frog. My guest, many, many months again today. Way too fast this time. It's uh, Chris DeStefano. Yeah, buddy. And look at this, dude. You're wearing green. I'm wearing a little bit of green because we're Irish. We're fucking Irish. We're Irish, mate. We're Irish. And, um, yeah, and dude, Ireland, what a country. I just, uh, <laughs> met with 20 minutes ago. I just, I got to see, it was in the same room as Natalie Portman. Natalie Let Port- me tell you. Natalie she, Portman. Portman. She is amazing, beautiful, weightless. I sat in the same chair as her, and I almost, I went out and did the Jimmy Kimmel show, and I was, I was going to sniff the seat. I was like, should mm. I do this as a bit? But then, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. But then is that from sniffing the seat? Mm-hmm. She got you. But then I realized that you know who's gonna see that? Jasmine. Yeah, Jasmine. And then I'm so mad. Get in trubby wubby. What was you doing sniffing her seat? Were you like white bitches? For some reason, Jazz comes off to me like Rosie Perez did in White Men Can't Jump. Yes. That is Jazz all the time. Jasmine all the time. Like when you come, she's like, "What are you doing, Billy? Yeah, come on, Chris, stop <laughs> playing around with me. <laughs> Studying for Jeopardy." <laughs> what would Jazz be studying for in her in this gener- in this version of you white men can't joke it'd be white men can't joke yes and it would be you <laughs> you trying to get on like you trying to get on uh, Netflix yeah and she's studying to get on what TV show what is she trying to and do? she's she's uh she's studying to get on Wheel of Fortune oh yeah, yeah oh no yeah. she's studying to get on Family Feud she's like I love Steve Harvey he you know like I my love daddy. the feud you know she, I love the feud she always say she always say Steve Harvey looks just like my father and I'm like your father was a small Puerto Rican man <laughs> Steve Harvey's a giant black man but did they both have mustaches. Yep. Fair as fair. And they both yo mom. Dude, I love Steve Harvey. He, let me tell you something. Watching Family Feud, if you go ahead and just put in YouTube Steve Harvey Family Feud reactions, you will laugh harder than any special ever. And he goes like this. Man, you crazy for that one. That ain't gonna be up there. No way, no how. Show me, chinch bug. He is the, the fucking <laughs> yeah. dude. He's so funny, man. It's he so... he gets. Would you ever do that shit? Would you? Oh, do, would you host God. a show like that? Yes. But then you're, because you know, once you're locked into that, that's a long, that's a long road. Well, he says too. On when I was watching, um, I was watching the other night, like the Def Comedy Jam, like you know, 25th anniversary show, and Steve Harvey, like everybody's talking, saying whatever, and Steve Harvey's like, I ain't f- with my money. Yeah. I ain't up here around all this cussing. I ain't mm. messing with my money, mm. so I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm gonna read the prompter. Cat Williams like, that's called him out. Yeah, for, oh, Cat Williams. Okay, I have not listened to a second of the Cat Williams Shannon Sharp. You're the thing. only guy. I think it's got 90 million views on YouTube. I, I'm I keep planning on listening, yeah. but I just haven't done it yet. Did you listen to the whole thing? Whole thing. And were you like stitches laughing? Mesmerized. It was amazing. Were you laughing though? Yeah, of course, at points. But other stuff was just like wild to watch him just call out everybody. What's the wildest one he said? Because I I'm off the internet. Well, it's completely. not wild in the sense of like shocking. He doesn't like Ricky Smiley. I'll tell you that. My good God, he doesn't like it. He he was going after Cedric. Was going after Steve. Hart. I mean, he kind of shot at everybody. But saying what? Like they're hacks. Kevin or Hart really doesn't like Kevin Hart. But what? But what was he saying? Is the problem. That he was having with them. I mean, he does it in a very convoluted, he almost Kanye esque in the way, right? It's mm-hmm. like where he's like ADD all over the place, calling everybody out for all sorts of stuff, and he hates this guy for this reason and thinks he got in the business because of this, and he ain't even putting in the work and all this shit. And you're like, I, I don't know. It. I feel like he's got a lot of personal gripes with people, 
and that we would never even see like the the true depth of it without getting both sides of the story. Right. But he does a lot of like, um, you know, uh, uh, he gets somewhat into like the Illuminati of Hollywood, like blessing blessing people in, saying that like all they make all black comics and entertainers wear dresses at some point in their career I agree. or try to and they should by the yeah. way and they should if That's you want to be progressive in this business mm-hmm. and you want to grow your career you should be wearing a dress we're we are going to wear a dress on the next show that we do 100% I literally, that's what, I don't understand what people want. It's like, do you want to be, <laughs> do you want to be inclusive and do you like want to support the feminist movement? That's right. Then get your black ass out there in a dress. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's just such an insane, when, when they're like, they've tried to make us look, look like fools in dresses. Now listen, uh, the issue that black entertainers would have with Hollywood and the way that they're treated. Black people shouldn't be complaining about shit. Uh oh. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> imagine. Just, what yeah. do they want? Slavery was 200 years ago. <laughs> That's what you hear people say. It was about 200 years ago. Yeah. People go nuts. Come on, man. That wasn't so long ago. Yeah. Hey, I don't got nothing to do with it. It ain't me. It wasn't me. My family <laughs> got here from Ireland. But the <laughs> fact that they, they uh, the fact that they always tease about the dress thing is like, yeah, beyond like maybe uh, black comics have always felt like taken advantage of by the business, maybe. But the other side of it is, dude, uh, they make all comics wear dresses. We're clowns. Yes. They make us do the dumbest version of whatever the th- the thing is. Whatever the thing is, they're going to go and then get this guy to look like the biggest f-ing idiot. Yes. That's oh, so that's the thing. Is that's like, being a comic. It's being you, you signed up to do that. They would never make a black actor wear a dress if he or she if, and they should yeah but i get it i get it but i gotta listen to that to that uh, it's great it's Kelly just himself. i just think there's there's points like that where you're like look dude the business is wonky and unfair and weird and creepy anyway uh trying to connect all these dots that aren't really there sometimes you're like no man we're just i look i know i'm not gonna be uh Glenn Powell. Do you know what I mean? Like, what are we How talking about? ripped it. Could you do it? So hot. So it's like, yeah, when they're like, hey, Santino, will you look goofy in this scene? It's like, that's what I'm for. Dude, that movie with Glenn Powell and He's Sydney so hot. Sweeney, I would He's let so both hot, of guy. them at the same time in my I'm mouth. not interested in her at all. He's way hotter than her. Uh-huh. She's just a girl, They dude. Her, her, I heard that his He's girlfriend stunning. dumped her. Dumped. He got dumped. Because of these Sydney Sweeney's fucking. Seven- I mean, they're beautiful together. I, I joke, but my God, are they both like. Those are kind of people that, like, if you saw them in high school, Man, you'd be so jealous of everything what I would, about them. The perfect them. person if I took Glenn Powell's dick and abs and put it on Sydney Sweeney. Then, her, I, then I have so the her perfect boobs woman. with his dick and abs. Yep. <laughs> yummy, yummy, Sydney in my Powell. tummy. Sydney Powell. Hey. Glenn Sweeney. Glenn Sweeney sounds better. Yes. Glenn Sweeney kind of sounds like a porn star. Yes. Starring Glenn Sweeney. Uh, Glenn Sweeney. Um, okay. Remember boy, 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 Remember that? Yeah. What, what, what happened? Was to, that? Or swing? Whatever happened to that? Show wing. wing, man. Whatever happened to those kind of phrases? I know we should bring. What's other stuff that we said when we were a kid like that? Uh, duh, duh. I miss duh. Show wing. I mean, dude, there's so many things that like kids just say now that were like iconic movies from our like childhood, like MILF. Oh like, yeah, MILF, MILF is was us, yeah. from American Pie. Yep. Um. Uh. Uh. You know, all the ones from when uh, Sharded. From yeah. Along Came Polly, like I, sh- I farted a little bit, shit came out. That's Philip Seymour Hoffman in Along Came Polly. Such a good, by the but, way, such a good scene. Oh, great. When he he sco- was so good. What when, about Along Came Polly, the very four second scene when he's, Philip Seymour's walking in and he just slips on falls. the floor? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that scene when he slips and falls on the dance floor is so good. I know you, it's, it's like some people like fall on camera well. He's a genius how he fell. He fell like a genius. So did he, but... T- took his own feet out. It was incredible. So, and, But there was a map there, right? He's not just really eating it. No, what you see, you see. You saw For real, it. he ate it on the floor. If I remember correctly, the shot is like a big, <laughs> wide shot. You see him fall down. You don't, you don't see him fall out of frame. You watch him hit the ground. Like, you physically <laughs> watch him hit the floor. It's brilliant, dude. Dude, it is... That movie, Along Came Polly, I think is one of the most underrated comedies. It's funny from the beginning to the end. Yeah, it's so it's such a good movie. Well, all, all those movies back then, and I think we're doing it now more in comedy. Comedy movies are trying to come back and be more goofy. I miss right. goofy. I yeah. miss weirdo, goofy, weird. Well, like, the Wedding loose. Crashers, all those old schools. Like there's it's goofy an, shit. It's goofy, and and that is coming back. Maybe you're in one of them. Maybe can't my, tell anyone. My, no, no, we know. I mean, we, yeah. When the movie comes out, I hope people do find it to be fun and goofy. It's stupid. When's it coming out? March. March. You gonna have a little premiere party? 
I don't know, man. I'm going to be in New York promoting, and then the premiere is in New York. Oh, can I come? No. Honestly, you can't. I don't want you. You'll be my date. Fine. But you have to I will. wear a dress. I will wear a dress in blackface. <laughs> um, you ready for this? What about yeah. this theory that Mike Cannon uh, told me, Mike, our good friend Mike Cannon? He said what he believes is <laughs> that when you... that When you die? When you die. Mm-hmm. So let's say you, you know it's me and you. If you die... You only died in my simulation, but you are actually going on and living in another simulation. So he thinks that that's what it is. So like you're not actually dead. But what about all the other people that I'm died that I'm dead to? That they're just all died. Like it's because only you're. Like if I die to you, I also die to my mom and my dad. What do you mean? But he said it's all part of your sim. It's all part of the simulation. Uh, this like sing like singular like it's like yes. well, so you're, yeah it sounds like this guy's a little sociopathic so, huh? well, it's all about a, him a, I know it's all about me my cannon mushrooms no I think I agree with some of that I understand the idea that like we're all living the thing that I feel like is the most sim thought to me is like what this looks like to you looks totally different to me but we both think I think you see what I see because we can name things about it that look similar right like but even when the I color say, blue might be this is blue is different. Yeah, to, yeah, you know. it is blue to you and I because it, like something is similar in the simulation, but it, but I can tell that in your eyeballs doesn't look the same to me. Right. I bet, I bet, I bet uh, it all 100%. looks different. And then there's another theory that I've talked about this on the pods where that we, what we actually are, is we are. This is a prison planet, and that it's we're not, enslaved. It's we're not, in prison. Right. It's not aliens are up there or or out there. It's they're in another dimension. They're right here, except they're in the fourth, fifth, sixth dimension. And we can't see them, mm. but they could potentially see us. And these reptilian beings, how are, what they Hillary do? Hillary Clinton. They've yes, mm-hmm. they've kept they've kept our souls oh. in this prison planet, and they feed off our anxiety, depression, and negative emotions. And the ones who are really, really famous, like Barack Obama and Taylor Swift and Justin Bieber and people like this, they've made deals with these reptilian beings where they said, "You can feed off my soul for eternity," <laughs> but. The, the, <laughs> But you this feed, is such insane, loopy shit. Well, you could feed off my soul for eternity, but yeah. every time I die, when I because time is happening all at once, the 1500s are happening as the 3000s are happening. Every time you put me back in the simulation in the prison planet, I am famous and I have it, I have this glorified life, and Whoa. that's the deal I make with you. But when we see like the light at the end of our lives, that's all a trick by the 4D reptilian beings because they want your soul back in the system. And only the people only can only people can get are monks and trans. You're still using mushrooms, huh? No, I haven't. This sounds like it. This is well, right th- from I'm the depths. This is of... my canon. Oh, this is my canon on mushrooms, though. Yes. Yeah. He's my canon is a mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little fun guy. I haven't eaten one thing today, Andrew. No not food. One, I swear to God, not one guy. Well, we're gonna go to dinner after this. You're gonna get plumpy wumpy. Yeah, because last... we're going to get Italian food. Yeah, because last night I fucking got drunk and high. You talk about it. You went to Bill Maher and you got way too stoned. Way too stoned. And, and you I... were texting me nasty stuff. Yes, and the last tw- and 20 minutes of that show is defending January 6th for real. You were defending it. Yes. Yeah. For you want to be able to do it again to Bill Maher, and he was like, oh, "What do you mean by that?" And I when was... you and I were there, you climbed faster than anybody yeah. I've ever seen before. The way you could scale a wall was impressive. That's how I hurt my Achilles. They were calling me <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I go, and, and so I, in the, I woke up this morning. I blacked out. I woke up this yeah. morning, and I had Oreo brownie in my belly button. And Wait, I said, you uh, blacked out oh, last night? Yeah, dude. You I seemed very with it. I was out of my mind. Oh. I was tweeting you nasty, n- nasty things that are not okay. Not okay if, to say. If they saw, if, 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 if we'll put up, saw, We'll put up some of the text exchange yeah, right here in the middle of the screen so you guys can see all the stuff that he said. That is not okay. Can you imagine if they crack open your text to your friendship circle oh. and, and they put it out to the world? I'd be f- No, see, this. I don't think you would be because we're all f- up. I think everyone in this world says f- up shit to their friends. We would all cancel each other out. No, it wouldn't even cancel. Everyone would go, Ugh, I guess, should we just... We should just be nicer to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of trying to f- get mad at people for saying dumb shit because we all say dumb shit right. all the time. Yeah. There's no way even the most cognizant, uh, uh, like liberal minded uh, fighting for the, you know, the, the, the lesser than. I'm sure they say f- dumb shit sometimes to yeah, their friends. Because we're human beings. Yeah, you have to. It's a part of the, it. Otherwise, you're not you're not present. How's your back? It's Last so time much I better. Your back was you had a I'm going to physical therapy way more often. I also told my boyfriend back. to take it easy back there. Hey. My back is better though. My yeah. herniation has uh, subsided. Okay. Uh, I still have a little bit of uh, hip impingement, some pain, but I go to physical therapy all the time. It's been changed my life. Yeah, it literally changed my life. No, are you working out again now too? Uh, uh, three days a week. I can tell. Well, sometimes four, but honestly, three. Four is like pushing it. 
Right. When I go the fourth day, I'm bummed that I'm there. Right. But no, but I haven't had uh, a little bit of booze because I'm slowing down because the holidays got me good. You were getting. Have wasted. you ever felt? Have, well, too much. Have you ever felt your heartbeat in your hair? You yes. know what I mean by that? Yep. I did not like it. Yeah. We were just partying. Right. Partying it, but it's so hard, and people know, well. huh? A little rootin' tootin' footin' mootin'. I'm not booting. No nose beers for me. Uh-uh. Okay. I keep it real straight and yeah. just glick, 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 glick. <laughs> nose beers. Do I put a couple pills in there once in a while? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. You know, That scares the shit out of me. Right. Pills scare me so much because everyone you know that ever did them died. Yeah. Everyone that had fun with them died, died. with them. Yeah, I've yeah. been getting f-ing hammered out here, and then what I do is I go over to Dr. Drew's house, and I let him light me up with some Ozempic. He got you the Oz? Yep. Well, I get hammered, what, and then he just fucking What do we talk it. about us before the show? It's giving everyone weird cancer. That's when I'm hearing that, and diet sodas. And, well, and I'm not th- going to stop drinking diet things sodas. Things like that, and then something else called the V-A-C-C-I-N-E. <laughs> <laughs> I started making my own boosters. You did? Yeah, at the house. What? Did, yeah. Yeah. After. Come over and get one. I want to come over and get one. <laughs> come on over. Come, come on, on over, baby. baby. You know what's so funny, though, is my neighbor, uh, the guy who lives in my neighborhood, I should say, mm-hmm. not because neighbor always makes it sound like he lives next door. Guy who lives in my neighborhood went on, like, old guy, I see him sometimes. He went on a long rant. He was like, you get boosted? And I was like, oh, yeah, well, I, you know, I don't, uh, that's not, uh, I don't, I don't talk to people about all that nonsense. He's like, oh, why not? I was like, I don't know, man. He's, yeah. like, he's like, you got to get all of them. I was like, well, they're not Pokemon, dude. You don't have to get all of them. He's like, you got to get. All the boosters. You should get it whenever they come. I said, well, you know, I don't know. You do whatever you want to do. I don't really give a shit. And he was like, well, you ought to do it. And, I, you, 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 you know, they got good stuff in there. <laughs> and I was like, how would they trick this old man? I think the old guys would be the ones that are like. Wouldn't want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, it's, you know who it is. Fauci. <laughs> what is going to happen gone, with dude. 2024 now? I don't know, What's going to happen? I don't know. We're all going to get sick again. Everyone's going to get s- continually sick. You think? Yeah, we're just going to keep getting sick. We're going to get sick. We're going to keep getting sick. I think that, yeah, in 2024, I kind of feel like, you know, because people are like, oh, who's going to be the the president and all that? Who is going to be the president and all that? I think the president is going to be Nikki Haley. And uh, Ronnie DeSantis. Yeah, but they seem. It seems like he's not doing well anymore. Ron DeSantis and I we went axe throwing one time. We were down in. Uh, I was down in Florida. We went axe throwing. Yeah, together. was it good? He hit a couple people. That was not good. <laughs> he had to get out of Dodge. Whoops. Yeah, but he goes, "Hey, man, no state income tax." And then you know we got out of there. <laughs> people are like, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna have a. Sh- I want to party with those guys once. Those lunatics. I want to party with. What are we one gonna time. have at Chaconis tonight? Chicken palm. At ch- tonight, tonight at dinner, we're gonna have chicken parmesan, real parmesan. <laughs> gonna have a little mama lasagna. Yeah. We're gonna have. Uh, I want fried artichokes. Yeah. I want. Um, I want calamari. Yeah. Can I we want... eat a lot? Yeah. I, wanna, I, I didn't wanna... eat lunch. You didn't eat lunch. What did you have for brek? Hanks. Can I be honest with you? No, but I do love. Yeah. I had. Um, I wanted to be skinny in front of this um, meeting I had, so I just had some. I had peanut butter and. Um, and bananas on toast. <laughs> yeah, on toast. At Blue Bottle. We have peanut butter and bananas on toast. And I say, can I have a cappuccino, please? <laughs> and he goes, small or big? I go, I'm pretty small. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was the meeting? It was at Blue Bottle. Oh, where? Yeah. What was it? Yeah. Some TV stuff? Uh, yeah, kind of, if I want to do some future development. Do you ever go into these general meetings? Like, I went into one today, and I'm yeah. like, I-, I have fun, but I'm like, what? No, you guys don't care. It depends on if I click with them. If they're cool... Has it ever turned into anything for real? Mm-hmm. No, but I don't take generals anymore. No, you just won't. I'll meet with people that I already have had business with or known before or met through somebody else. Right. But like a, just a random general. Can't do it. I don't know. It's just kind of tough because it's like, unless they're like, hey, we have a thing that we definitely need to talk to you about. Right. Because otherwise it's like, I don't know, man. You don't want to do it. I, I, you, know, you know, no, I don't want another water. You asked me five times. I don't want a right. water. What I do you think? You want to move to New York? Water. I'd like to you if you have room. keep saying you want to. Yeah, but we're, I mean, uh, this year I'm going to be there a lot. Well, let's talk about my self-sabotage and how much I fucked my let's life. Let's do it, you man. You want to know I up? Please. So I fucked up because we had this beautiful house in Staten Island where you're fucking welcome, and everybody's welcome as long as you do one thing and one thing only, and that's have the American flag on your car. 
<laughs> that's what it is. The to, to, toll for the bridge is one do, The toll for the bridge is seventeen dollars and seventy six cents. Is that really and what it is? Seventeen seventy six. That's what it'll always be. Yeah. And, and, so, <laughs> and so we lived on Staten Island, which is like you know over a bridge, beautiful yeah. place. I had a great house at a three point one percent mortgage rate. So beautiful. Three point one. Yeah, little little. What low. is it now? Seven and a half. Yo, yeah. Yuck. So I said, hmm, I have a lot of peace. I have no chaos in my life. I have a low payment. I said, let's bring on the chaos. <laughs> and I sold the house. And then I moved my family from a five-bedroom house with an in-ground pool and gave them everything I ever wanted. And I moved them into a two-bedroom apartment with roaches. And I swear to God. Where are you now? You're in Brooklyn? In Queens. Oh, Queens. And yeah. I said, you know what? This is going to be good. And then Jasmine was like, this is the stupidest thing we could have ever done. Why are we doing this? I was like, just trust me. We got this beautiful apartment, and we were going to, uh, uh, we, we were living in a temporary apartment that wound up having roaches. And then we were going into this other <laughs> apartment. We were going to renovate it and all that stuff. And then that fell through. And now we're living in a rented house that's kind of like, you know, a nice house, but it's like very old. And I'm paying more in rent than I was for my mortgage to have half the house with no pool. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. Wait, but did you sold the house. You sold the house fast because because so fast. Yeah. Like, did wait, you make any money? Any of the money that I made went had went into else. the renovations, and everybody, like the guys from like the neighborhood in Staten Island, who like I see still, they were like, when we saw you sold that house for that price, we were like, what the f- are you doing? And like one of my guy, one of the guys, he goes, let me ask you a question. Be honest. Your real estate agent was a woman. I said, yeah. He goes, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's insane. He goes, she just wanted the quick sale. Because you know these women, they won't last. He goes, you could have sold your house for three, three hundred grand yeah. more. Yeah, you and you're stupid. Yeah, and you're a stupid, and not a guy that's in there is a yeah. you know what. Hey, do you self sabotage? You think? Uh, or not as much. Sometimes, yeah, for sure, for sure. But it's like uh, with this kind of stuff. The less the, my living situation for me is it's like perfect. It's like leave me alone. I want my, my little thing. I want to live uh, humbly. I don't need a house in the hills. I don't need all that shit. I don't know. That, yeah. I don't care about any of you that. You live stuff. well within your means. Yeah, it's just a regular house. It's a I you have a beautiful house. It's a house. Right. And so like I feel good about that. Like I never I never was chasing the bigger box. Didn't care about that. Oh, uh, from the beginning, from when you were a wee little lad. When I was a little lad back in Ireland, and I took the boat over, I said, one day, me's going to get a regular house. <laughs> <laughs> in here, we pour whiskey, whiskey. This episode of Whiskey Ginger is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the place. If you are making a site, you have to use them. I'm not a computer. I'm me. You do have to use Squarespace. Uh, they're phenomenal. Uh, truly, that's all in one uh, website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products, content, time, all in one place on your terms, my friend. Do it the way that you want to do it. I've talked about Squarespace uh, so much because I do believe they are the best. All right, they make beautiful templates for you to use. You can go rogue and make your own website any way you want. With Fluid Engines, custom merch, online store, they have an asset library, flexible website templates. They have everything that you need to create the site that you want to showcase your work, your opinion, or whatever you've got going on to the world. If you just feel like yelling from the top of your lungs on the internet and showcasing what you do, why not use Squarespace to build that out? Email campaigns can drive their sales and engage audience. Um, and to find out where your clicks are coming from, those analytics and the blogging tools uh, will help you share photos and videos and updates. And also find out where your clicks and site visits are coming from to analyze which channels are the most effective for you. So build your site with Squarespace. It's a no-brainer at this point. I don't even know if they have any competition. If anybody is out there that does it the way that they do it with their customer support and the way that they've laid it out, it's pretty incredible. You want to check it out yourself? Why not? Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. Try it out. When you're ready to launch, then go to squarespace.com slash whiskey to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Squarespace.com. Check it out. You're ready? Squarespace.com slash whiskey to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hey, this episode of Whiskey Ginger is brought to you by Rabbit Hole and their one-of-a-kind Kentucky bourbon and rye whiskeys. I've been talking about them for a long time because I believe in them. I love Rabbit Hole. They've supported me, and I support them. Their founder, Kaveh Zamani, and he left a successful 20-plus year career as a psychologist to jump down that rabbit hole that he did. Fastest ever to be inducted in the Kentucky Bourbon Hall of Fame. Congratulations, my man. They found the way to make really good sauce at a premium price. Uh, and it's quality. And I say premium, not meaning 
super expensive, I just mean a very good price for a very good product. And you find that. You pay a little bit extra than the bottom shelf, you're gonna get something much, much better than what's down there. All right, so this stuff is really worth it. Um, Derringer is one of my favorites. It's uh, bourbon whiskey finished in PX Sherry Cast. Pedro Jimenez is Sherry Cast, no less. That's the fancy one, okay, from Spain's renowned region, all right? This is the good sauce, the good stuff. Uh, Rabbit Hole makes four different expressions, and all of them are delicious. They've got the Cave Hill, which is their triple malt bourbon, that high gold, high rye, double malt bourbon, one of my favorites. The Boxer Grail Sour Mash Rye, and also... To final, finalize that uh, that foursome there, it's the Derringer. So, so good. And uh, if you're looking for something truly unique uh, walking into the new year, why not try Rabbit Hole? Better than almost anything that's out there at its price point in a similar world. I would say much, much better. Um, it's hard to compete. Your taste buds will tell you that this stuff is the good stuff. You ought to try it out. They pull from less than 15 barrels at a time. Small batch. They're doing it the right way. Uh, go to rabbitholedistillery.com slash buy now. Use the promo code rabbit for $5 off your first order. Once again, rabbitholedistillery.com slash buy now. Promo code rabbit for 5 bucks off your first order. Please drink responsibly. Ginger. I like gingers. I never pined for that. It would, like living in a city, the city of excess, just like Manhattan, just like New York, I just, ne- it was never like, dude, I got to get the biggest fucking house. house. But also, it's just her and I. What the fuck do we need? You know, like nine. I have, I know friends that have like a eight bedroom house. There's two people. Yeah. There's two. Where the fuck? What are you doing? What about the guys that she wants to hang out? Where do they stay? Who? The other guys. Well, oh, oh, oh. The other guys that my wife is fucking. They come and they go. Oh, okay. They don't need a room. Hey, they come and then they go. <laughs> <There you> go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I've been. Uh, I just no. I think I think I gotta get I minimalist gotta, when it comes to that stuff. Like I clean out shit constantly. I give away a lot of stuff if I have like. How many pairs of sneaks you got? Mm, I have more golf shoes than regular shoes. I'll tell okay. you that. I have so many golf shoes. Yeah, it's yeah, it's embarrassing. It's like a, it's my cra- little crack addiction. What do you think of these? I told you how much I love those. Like I looked at them with last a dress night. sock. Those are really cute. Like I'm surprised you didn't wear your suit. Take I'm gonna have my foot out. Sho- oh, okay. Have my foot out. Why didn't you wear your suit to this? You wore a suit on Kimmel, and you didn't want to wear it for me. You know what it is? Because number one, Kimmel. I'd- Whiskey ginger. Is that well, what's no, going on? I took the suit off because I didn't want to get hit in the face with your boner. <laughs> and again, and I, and I, um, I, I, because we're going to do spots Ooh. tonight. Yeah. So I didn't want to be on stage in a suit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, and I said yes to doing spots at the comedy store, but now I don't want to do it. No, nah, do it. Who cares? I want because I want to just eat and hang out and not have to worry about doing. Well, you anything. could bail, but I don't like bailing. I don't want to bail. But Let's also, just, you're, you're a, gonna come with me. I know, but you're a late ad, so you it doesn't. If you did bail, a lad. It you're a lad, aren't you, lad? But you're a lad, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So now this place that you got in, in, in Queens, Queens. are, are you going to stay there for a while? Well, we have a year lease, but, you know, my girl is obviously like, what? we had a house, mm-hmm. like, with roots. Mm-hmm. What are we doing? I was like, let's go back to Staten Island. She was like, are you out of your mind? Can't do it. I was like, for you, babe. Well, the thing is with kids, I want to keep moving my kids' school. I cannot keep... The, my That's daughter... Gonna f- has up. moved three schools in four years. What about what about have you thought about some of the tunnels in Brooklyn from the synagogues? Yes, you could live down there. Well, that's what I think. As soon, well, they There's filled a lot of cement. room down there. Oh, they filled them up already. Yes, and that's what and I was saying. Quick. I was like, I was like, why did you not give me an opportunity to fucking not at least take a look and see if that's something would not be nice down there for It'd us? It'd be kind of nice. Yeah, nice and cool. Hasidic Jews. You don't. They have them in uh, pretty much just New York and L.A. Yeah, most most. I've never seen a Hasidic Jew outside of New York or Los Angeles personally. This is the spot. I'm my shoe like that. Yeah, leave Just it really nice and foot. relaxed. Do you? Yeah, I, I, um, I feel like um, Jewish people uh-oh, are uh oh right. No, Here's, this is his Kanye moment. I feel like Jewish people right now are mm-hmm. you know they're getting uh they're getting beat up a little bit because the last thing you ever want to do is fuck with my army, the Palestinian army. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you, you imagine you, I was like you dropped out of Hamas years ago. Years but ago, you were into dude. I was in, imagine like it's a band. I was into Hamas before all this hubbub. Yeah. was going on. Yeah, I mean, I was a Hamas guy a long time before. <laughs> yeah. blah, 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 blah. Hamas, just another thing made by the United States, <laughs> just like ISIS. <laughs> That's what people say. Well, you uh, you actually knew a couple ISIS cats. We used to have a bowling league, and we used to bowl with some ISIS guys. Yeah. Yeah, Jihad, J- Jihadi John. Remember him? I knew him. He was a good friend. Jihadi John. Jihadi John was a good kid. Kid, kid, kid had a stroke on him, dude. I think he was 255 average. Kid could roll a stone. You know I've never bowled <laughs> in my life or played golf. Let's go bowling, you f- You want to play golf? Yeah. I love bowling. I don't want to take you golfing. It's way too hard. Right. If you've never played, it's going to f*** you up. 
bowling any idiot can try and do. Well, bum, we'll get you bumpers anyway. Is even starting is even starting <laughs> golf right now too late? I'm 39. If I've never tried, it's like it's never gonna too be late stupid. to start. Never too late to start. But that being said, it's going to frustrate you because you're a competitive guy. You're an athlete, yes. so it's going to be hard on you because you're going to think, "How come I'm not better than this?" Because it's it, it takes so long to get good at golf, right? No, you have athletic ability. You'll get good fast, but. It's definitely a process. Right. Dude, it's it's really lame, lame conversion. It's stand up. Right. Once you find it, like you know yeah. you're good. Uh, but before that, you're like, oh, how come I can't? How long have you been playing golf? For real, for real. When I was a kid, I ta- was taught my my dad taught me when I was a kid, like how to do it. And then we would go to like a driving range once in a while. And then I played like I don't know, not really we we weren't country club people, so I didn't have any money to go play golf and municipal courses, you know, you can only play on the weekends, obviously. You know, my so it's like we didn't play a lot, and then and then I was broke for so long. You still broke. Come on, girl. (laughs) I was broke for so long, I never could afford to do that. That was fucking nuts. So, like, uh, in my 30s, I kind of started up again, I would say. By the time I was 32, 33 is when I was like, I could afford to go play. Again. Golf is what you do now. Golf is your life. When you go on the road, you, you're looking for golf courses. You want to go to see as many golf courses as you can. I like them. Yeah. Well, you know what it is, if I'm being real? At, at this moment in my life as a 40-year-old man, uh, for now, uh, I like the peace it brings me. I like clearing my head. I don't think about much. I have fun with my friends. It actually is kind of a way to escape and not the world doesn't exist. You get yeah. to just go away for three and a half, four hours. you're deep in that course. Yeah, but you're just talking shit. You're having fun with friends. It's great to have a drink. It's great to have a good meal. Yeah, not I, you, though. No more drinking. Well, I, maybe. We'll see. Uh, no, I will be drinking. I'm just not drinking right now. How long do you think you'll go no drinking? If Two you more guess? hours at dinner. I'm having wine. You might have one out at Chaconis? No, I can't, dude. Okay. I can't. I got to be a good boy. Okay. You no, do I, a- no, I'll probably have one. At Chaconis for real? Yeah, I'll probably Smoke have. a little crap. I'll probably. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah. I'm like, dude, I'm not drinking for a while. Cut to me. <laughs> Just smoking rocks. I'm smoking fucking crack. Um, <laughs> so you might have a drink at Chaconis. <laughs> yeah, with you. All right. All right, fine. But I don't want to force you to do it. You don't have to do it. I, I, want, I just want you to eat pasta. Well, you know, I'm going to eat as much pasta as I can possibly eat because I'm a little fatty patty sometimes. Are you fatty now? No, no, you no. Look I'm, good. Uh, no, I'm okay. But when I eat with you, you and I yeah. get little fat boy syndrome. When I was putting on my suit today, um, I was staying at Don DePetta's house. Uh, and he goes, uh, he was like, when I was, you know, putting it on, I had no shirt. And he goes, are you, are you still uh, working out? And I was like, what? He was like, you still working out? And I was like, and I'm like, right before I'm about to go on Kimmel, I was like, yeah. He was like, oh, he's like, it's the winter. You know, we just pack it on sometimes. I was like, I wasn't. I felt good about my body. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't thinking, like, why? You, I didn't ask you. What was that about? I don't know. He he's insecure fashion. about his body. Yeah, That's he's what it is. Because he's a little fatty patty, too. Is he fatty? He's a fatty, isn't no, he? No, no, no. He's junky wonky. Do you, you never get fat. That's the thing about I've you. I've never been fat. I've been out of shape, for sure. But, and I'm not in the best shape. I'm in okay shape now. I but could what be does that mean to you, out of shape, if your body doesn't change in the mirror? Like, what is out of shape? You're breathing? Mm-hmm. Right. Because normally I breathe like this. And then when I'm out of shape, I breathe like this. <laughs> Does Jazz snore at night, by the way? No. Dude. I do, though. Dude, Bad. Fucking she snores. My daughter snore. My God, dude. Yeah. I can't. It's so, sometimes. Yeah. It, I, what do you I, do? Well, I get the pillow thing. I get why people strangle people yeah. with pillows. Yeah. It's snoring. That's what it's based on. Well, she should go get. They have these things called snore balls. You put them under your head. And it keeps your head pitched at night, and they're called snore balls. Hey, I'm the only pair of balls in that bed that's going to get hey. anywhere near her head. You hey. understand what I'm at? Hey. No, I told her we got to get her a different pillow so she changes her lie angle or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Doesn't want to hear it. I teabag Jazz the other day when she was sleeping. Get real. Just, and I didn't even tell her until now. Called Just her dropped them off, and then I went and got an Uber. A little bit of Cosby tea? Yeah. Bang. You guys, when you guys hook up, do you hook up in the morning or at night? If we're going to hook up, to be honest with you, because of the kids, we usually have to do it sometime in the mid, like late morning, early afternoon when they're all at school. Yeah. But a lot of times it's like, it's like, hey, like, you know, can we have sex tonight, today? And she's like, it's Wednesday. You know, I don't have sex with you on Wednesdays. Right. That's, that's my day. Whatever. Exactly. Yeah. That's when she so, comes out to LA. So, um, yeah, she comes out for the day. And, um, <laughs> but we do, but we do it. If we're going to do what we're doing in the afternoon, which is, it's nice for us because we have the kids and we have to, you know, obviously be careful with kids. But when they're not there, it's like we're like teenagers. Like in the open house where That's it's like, so holy fun. shit, we can, because you can't, you know, with the kid, like you can't. Most kid, fun room outside of the bedroom to have sex. Most fun, the, uh, I like, we uh, in the living room. 
on the couch where everybody sits. Oh, right. So when your kids are watching a movie, they're just smiling. Yeah, we're just looking at when you know, our Comfy? family comes over, we're like, ha-ha. <laughs> Please, <Sticky. sit>. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Where do you like to have sex outside the bedroom? Outside the bedroom, I think the best room, uh, I would say, I mean, I do like the living room. Like, that is kind of nice. But big backyard fan. You have outdoor sex. Mm-hmm. But, Love, dude. But My how, favorite. can people see it, or you got the trees where they can't see in privacy? Uh, I mean, I'm flying. I'm flying a drone over most days that I'm outside, so I'm recording it myself. Right. Go to my OnlyFans right now. Backyard bumping. Uh, onlyfans.com slash backyard bumping. Yes. Uh, that's my site. And it's pretty cheap. It's only twelve ninety nine per month to join to watch me poke in the backyard. Not bad. Better than Patreon. No, no, we have protection where you can't see into our yard. I mean, one ne- one house could see and one neighbor could see. Um, he but he's cool. He's chill as fuck. He don't give a fuck. No, he's probably up there pulling Filming on his it. Would you, care, would you honestly care if he had film of you having sex with your wife outside As long as he yard? used it for just himself, I wouldn't care. You honestly wouldn't care if he's like, this won't get out. You'd be like, fine. If he was like, I've been capturing you. Yes. But I was like, just don't let it leak. Dude, there's a lot of fucking perverts out there. there was, yeah. In, 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 I was in the mall. That's such a fucking broad point. <laughs> there's a lot of perverts out Dude, there. Dude, I was in the mall, and some guy. <laughs> so first of all, let me tell this. So I, I, had a friend, I had a friend who worked. He was like a NYPD like sex crime cop. Oh, wow. Dude, he would say. Dude, yeah. he said, first of all, he was like, it, as a tourist, when you go to like Rockefeller Center Mm -hmm. and you're wearing like, you know, like big jackets and stuff like that. It goes like every day, multiple times a day when he was working there, I would have to walk up to a woman and take her out of the crowd with her family and let her know that a man ejaculated on the back of her jacket. Shut the fuck he said up. guys would just walk around and jerk off on the back of women's jackets. <laughs> <laughs> that is awful. I, it's so funny because it's insane. Yeah. And then he That's, said, people would just do that? Do that. And then he was like, you know, we'd have to catch them, arrest them. Come coats. Gotta come get coats. the come coats. But he's like, but then, you know, there's no like date. Like we can't do anything. Like it's a crime, but we would have to let the woman know. But sometimes I, he was like, I feel bad. I'm like letting these women know. How would they catch the guy? They would like they would have teams, so they would like look for it. Cause he said you would look. He said what what happened? You he was the guy's like, like, no. He said I know who this is. Yeah, <laughs> he said you would see a guy like in a big bubble jacket, and you would know that you could tell like his arms weren't in his jacket, but he would put his arms in his that pocket. That is crazy. But he's really just jerking off. How can you jerk off to fully clothed tr- people in traffic? It's in, all like- there. It's all there. Like like uh like kind of forbidden thing. So they would do it. That's fucking weirdo. Then he said shit, he would have. Dude. Then he would have this guy. He said they had this guy. They, they, you know, were watching him, whatever, and they were looking at him. I was like, this guy looks fucking weird. This is like in the summertime. They said, this guy looks like weird. He's a walker. He's got these big boots on. Mm-hmm. And they were like, you know, and then they, like, he's like, you know, NYPD, like, we're always kind of watching and like, we'll just track you. It was like, so I was tracking this guy through Times Square. And I'm like, what the fuck? He keeps like stopping at the intersection and then he like does something with his boots and he, and he flicks these buttons and he like runs away. And we're like, what is he fucking doing? So they couldn't figure it out. So they're like, keep going, watch and watch it. And they found out he had cameras. On, on on the tops of his shoes, and he would walk up to a girl. Up skirts. Up the skirt, and he would Whoa. click it, and he had all these pictures. So he said, we found this guy. We nailed him. Wow. He had thousands of pictures of, like, women's vaginas. But he's like, but we can't match anything to the women. All right, whose vagina is this? Yeah. Come claim your vagina. <laughs> then he said there was another guy who would run up and down 7th Avenue with, like, these little short booty shorts, and he would just finger his asshole all day and run up and down. He said every time they would arrest him, he, the guy, like, they would go to arrest him, and he would f- pull his fingers out of his asshole and try to push them on the cops. That's called doing the DeRosa. That's yes. what that is. It was, Joey D. <laughs> and so he was like that guy, but he's like, I was like, guys like that that you would arrest, would you just, like, laugh? He's like, we actually, like, would look forward to arrest him because he'd be hilarious in the back of the cop car. Right, he said, he, but he smelled like pure ass. <laughs> like, yeah, his ass was open, like, and spread and dirty. He was like, it was disgusting. He goes, and he would smear it I'm like, you yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah, he was, he was like, that's just gross. What, but he's that's like, gross. what we have to deal with. That's what with they got to deal with all the time. That's what cops Every have to day. deal with all the time. Every day. St- watching some guy run up seventh half fingering his He's butt. like, so you think I'm not going to one day then all of a sudden shoot an unarmed citizen? Of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much poop I've had smeared on my car? What did you? <laughs> what did you do? It? Wouldn't you do it? Wouldn't you do it? Yeah. You know what I want to get too for Chaconis? I want to get a pizza for the table. Come on, man. You always do that. And then I, that that's when it gets hard. When you get for the tables, because every time we have breakfast, you get pancakes for the, for the table. But I didn't eat anything today. But you think I look good. You don't think I look fat. No, you look very good. Did you do good on camel? To be honest, I think so. I felt like I, this is my second time they did it. And the f- second time I've done it, the first time I felt like I did a bit better. But today was still good. 
I feel like I was telling long, drawn out stories today, and the la- at the punchline would get a laugh, but not like a big laugh. How about how about the crowd? Did they did they? The crowd was great. That's the problem. The crowd was so great, and that's all you kept hearing is this the hottest crowd they've had all year. And then I went in, and I was like. Oh, sh- it felt like I put up a stinker. And Natalie Portman went before you. Then she got up because she didn't want to be on camera with you sitting next to her. Yep. So then she left. Why don't they do that? Why don't they have the guests sit next to each other anymore? I would have loved to talk like to Natalie Portman. Like the old Portman. days? Yeah. I think they don't do that because it's almost like, why is the guest just sitting there watching you be interviewed again? It's also, she's an A-list celebrity. Why and, does she care? I want yeah, to talk to And you're to not me. even on the list. No. She's A-list. You're... I don't even see a list on there. I know, you know nothing. I mean, no, but I get it. It's like they, they would do that for if I was on there too. The same yeah. thing is like they're like, look, she's gotta go. She doesn't want to be sitting yeah. next to you. Unless we had met one time or done something together, right. then maybe they'll probably sit there to chat it up with you. Yeah. I lo- I love my boys who are like, hey, just FYI, she's divorced. I'm like, so you think that gives me a chance? That's then? an in, dude. Lean That's, in. So I'm like, what am I gonna do? Introduce Natalie Portman to Jasmine and my children? Like, why <laughs> did you even text me that? My group chat is so them like, hey, we just read this article, she's divorced. Is she so, did she get divorced? Yeah. So I'm like, again, even if I was saying what is she gonna what am I gonna say to her what would you fucking even say to dude, her I would love it if her people reach out next week and are like hey she didn't wasn't able to say hi to Chris but she really loved watching him from backstage and was too shy to ask but she she kind of was Can interested in him yeah it was changed your whole life I would tell Jazz life. well you tell Jazz you'd leave her and the kids yeah you'd move you'd move to you'd you'd move back to the city uh-huh. you'd be living in Manhattan yeah living your good life that's it and you're married to Natalie Portman. That's it. And I would say, hey, you know, I got some cash for you, Jazz and the kids. But uh, and you have yeah. to convert. You'd have to be. You'd have to convert to Judaism. To Judaism, because she wouldn't mess with you if you were playing this Christian but card, she, pal. Well, I'm been going back to church, dude. This is funny. You say this. I thought about going back to church. What is so things like this happen in like the zeitgeist or whatever, where like people start doing or all of a sudden. Uh, is it because we're seeing a lot patterns. of patterns? I think we see the same patterns. Right, and then the patterns we go. How can I uh, fix this pattern? Yeah, so I've been going. It's nice. What what, what, what are you going to? What are you talking? Church, yeah, Catholic which, church. Which one? What are we talking? Oh, um, uh, uh Saint Matthias. Saint Matthias. Matthias. You know who Saint Matthias was? Was he a good saint? What did he do? No, Saint. You know who Saint Matthias was? Saint Matthias was the apostle that stepped in when Judas killed himself. Saint Matthias slid right in. He was the he was the alternate apostle. So when Judas kekeko, Matthias goes, I got it. Yeah, Matthias said, you know what? I'll step in. I'm a good guy. And he was. St. Matty, St. Matthias. St. Matty was a good man. St. Matthias. Are you staying for long? The whole service? I stay for the whole yeah, service. 50 minutes. Um, I get the communion. And, I, you know, like people go, hey, my, that, I do that. I get on my knees like this. Uh, uh, and then, yeah. So I do what that. What if he put out a communion? Uh, <laughs> could you imagine it like that? <laughs> <laughs> or could you imagine he put it out and I sucked his finger? I was like, um. Just once, I want to take the 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 wine, the blood of Christ, and just and just uh, and pour it on my <laughs> face in front of everybody. Or I just, yeah, I just fucking poured it all over my head. What would they do? They couldn't do anything. No, I tell you, go sit down. No, please go sit down. You yeah, made a mess. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And then I I remember one time I I was in church. I was a little kid, and this this woman came in late for church. She wanted to get like you know. Uh, the body and blood of Christ, and she was like a little frail old lady, like walking like one inch, like I mean, like, uh, and the priest was standing at the at the altar, like waiting. And she was, it took her like ten minutes to get to him. He could have easily just walked up and left his place and just given to no, her. He was like, you know, no. you fucking crawl here. He doesn't move. You come to this is body of Christ. You come no. to the body, baby. Yeah. It's weird that they, I don't like, I never liked that phrase as a kid when I heard that. The blood body of, of Christ. Blood, blood of Christ, body of Christ. When I was a kid, I guess. Like, no, it's like the, not. My dad has that wine at home. Yeah, I guess because when I was a kid too, like the crucifix. like I didn't like that. It was like naked, like kind of bloody body. It would like gross me out, right? Wouldn't I never get, liked like, gro- it. I wouldn't be able to like eat my lunch. What always felt, it always felt, um, it always felt like it was supposed to scare me. That's what it, it always felt like it was supposed to be scary. It wasn't. But as a kid, I was like, "That's supposed to be. That's interesting. Yeah, it's like supposed to make you like think about the doom of or the gloom of death and how you need to be a a better a, Christian. A better Christian. And, yeah. Well, I'm reading a book called The Case for Christ, and mm-hmm. I do believe in Christ now. What and is the all, case? What's the case? Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm Who's only, on the case? I'm only about halfway through it. Yeah. Um, so that means case. You're, that means you're less than halfway through. Mm-hmm. When somebody read, goes, I'm, I, a, it's, I'm pretty, I'm getting into it. It's like you're five pages well, in. I bought it at the airport yesterday, <laughs> and that's what I mean. And I read the the synopsis, and um. They're just saying that there's overwhelming evidence for Christ's existence and that his miracles. So, sorry, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's. I'm sure he was a real dude. Bro. He was a real I'm dude. I'm sure he was a real cat. 
I just choose to believe. You know what it is, Trish? There's a lot of people existed. I'm sure he did. It's meditation for me. It's like I'm not looking at my phone. I'm meditating. It's the only thing I can do. If I tell Jazz, hey, I'm leaving. I'm going to church. It's the only thing. Well, she like, you know, it's like, all right, I'll just stay here. You with go the kids. alone. Uh, sometimes, yeah. You don't want to go with her and the kids. Well, I do, but my two year old. Because they don't is, speak Spanish. They're not going to understand yeah, a word that's coming they out don't of his know. mouth. They're like, Iglesia. <laughs> they, don't, they don't know. Um, they they feel, uh, you know, my two year old is just too nuts right now to like yeah, bring her yeah, to church. Yeah, that's I can't. Because then you can't really go to the church. She's like going to be running around and throwing Bibles at She's people. She's going to be running around putting her fingers in her ass like a bum yeah. on Seventh Ave. In here, we pour whiskey. whiskey. The amount of subscriptions that I have right now is embarrassing. It's far, far too many. All right. Uh, between all the brands that you already know, it's gotten out of control. Whether it's food service apps or entertainment apps or apps on your phone to play games that you signed up for that you had no idea that you were doing. Rocket Money is here to help. Uh, they really are. If I told you how many subscriptions you were paying for right now and I showed you and how much money was falling out of your pocket every month, you'd be so bummed about it. And I found that out myself. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. I myself lowered my bill. I was losing a couple hundred bucks a month on nonsense, which was uh, shocking to me that I was spending that much money on subscriptions that I just didn't need. Rocket Money has over 5 million users, help, has helped its members save an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. I myself was subject to signing up for stuff that I didn't know. I'm a stupid guy. I do it all the time, and I forget about it. Uh, and then I have one thing on one credit card and one thing on another credit card that I don't really see, and you're wasting money on stuff that you just don't use. They even go, they try to get you a refund for the last couple of months that you've wasted money and negotiate to lower your bills by up to 20%. They can get that money back for you. All you got to do is take a picture of your bill, and Rocket Money takes care of the rest, okay? You can see all your subscriptions in one place, and uh, you don't want to you, you, you know, you don't want it anymore. You want to cancel it? Click tap. Click, click, tap, pat, and it's gone. All right? You don't even have to get on the phone with customer service. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash whiskey. That is rocketmoney.com slash whiskey. Rocketmoney.com slash whiskey. Eating healthy is not that hard. I know that is an old an old way of thinking that it's like, how do I find good stuff, and where do I find it, and how do I get it, and is it affordable? I got to tell you, yes, it is now with Green Chef. Green Chef is a CCOF certified meal kit company. Uh, Green Chef makes eating well easy with plans to fit every lifestyle. All right, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals, Green Chef offers a range of recipes to suit your preferences. You know my schedule's crazy. I'm living on planes most of the year. All right, I'm living in planes and hotels, and it's super, super hard for me to live a balanced life and to live it in a way uh, where I'm eating stuff that I know is good and I know where it comes from. Uh, with Green Chef, you enjoy a nutrient-dense, science-backed gut and brain health recipes developed in partnership with registered dietitians that improve digestion, reduce bloat, also boost energy and immunity, which I need when I'm traveling this great country, particularly in the chilly months, my friends. I don't want to get sick, so choosing Green Chef means choosing real wholesome foods that just don't fill you up but also support a healthy lifestyle. Um, it's more than just satisfying your hunger. It's about feeling good with every single bite. And when I get home off the road and I'm back at my house before I leave again, it's nice to know that there's Green Chef waiting for me. The best part is I don't have to go anywhere man it got old it gets very old you know looking for what i'm gonna eat when i get home and they deliver anything you need to eat clean and easy this new year uh, nourish your body with chef crafted nutrients nutritionist approved recipes packed with clean ingredients to support your healthy lifestyle and taste very good too they do taste very very good i will say uh people used to think eating on a healthy kick isn't going to taste good yes it is you have to try green chef uh go to greenchef.com 60 whiskey and use code 60WHISKEY to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. And by the way, uh, that 60WHISKEY is the number 60, not spelled out. So go to greenchef.com slash 60WHISKEY. Use the code 60WHISKEY to get 60% off. Wow. Plus 20% off your next two months. Uh, Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. Ginger. I like gingers. I saw, I read the story once where there were the two German, two richest men in Germany. Careful now. Yep. And not, it's not who you think. It's not Adolf. It was these German guys. They, one guy. We invented Legos. You're like, it, oh, wow. Yeah. One guy, um, he started to give his money away, like, you know, philanthropy, like mm -hmm. just give it away. And he died almost penniless. His kids, he gave his kids some money, but he died almost penniless. He was happy, like to give it away. And then the second richest guy, um, who was like you know worth five hundred million francs? Mm. He he became the third richest guy. Some other guy came above him and only beat him by like a hundred thousand dollars a year, and he killed himself. 
wow. with all that money because he's like, I am no, no, I'm not number two. I cannot be live anymore. Uh, yeah. I cannot yeah. live anymore. That's just not good. Yeah. I must kill myself. Ja, ja. And Germans kill themselves so so. They do. Germans and Japanese huh? kill themselves so much. Axis powers. Axis power countries. The Japanese, you know, Japanese kill themselves a lot because they identi- their whole identity becomes their job. So when they retire, they mm. feel like they have nothing else to live for. And then they sword. That's terrible. And they do a lot of the way they still go old school samurai. They stab themselves in the abdomen with the with the machete. Oh God, people in the ER must be like, oh my God, God. again, we gotta fucking get this sword out of this guy. Come on. Uh, like, I don't want to do like this. You pull on, push on his chest, and I'm going to pull his. Yeah, arms you know how hard it is to pull a sword out of a human body with chopsticks. <laughs> 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 Just put a little bit of ginger on it when they're done. Yeah, <laughs> I'm using chopsticks tonight at Chaconis. Imagine, I'm going to be like, give me chopsticks. No, bring your own. Yeah. I think we should start bringing our own chopsticks to places. Remember when I tried to use chopsticks eating ramen? Funniest thing I've ever like seen in my entire life. Tart. We got you <laughs> eating ch- fucking ramen with chopsticks, and I never, I don't think I've laughed so hard. You couldn't get one noodle to stick. <laughs> I couldn't get one. I started eating it with my hands. Yeah, you're just scooping it in your mouth. Yeah, I'm an asshole. Have you eaten ramen since then? No. You don't like ramen? No. Man, it's no. so good. You didn't eat it when you were in college or nothing like that? No, nothing. I would always eat pizza and pasta. That's what I would do. Pizza and like pasta, and a lot of times I blooded American. I put pasta on my pizza. You think I'm eating some communist noodles? No thanks. Hey, you're last I checked, if you're an enemy of the United States, you're always an enemy of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even eat French fries. Hey, no. I eat freedom fries, baby. Baby. You know I'm eating freedom fries. America's number one. You think we're going to war? Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, you I'm, gonna go? I'm going. Uh, I got my ticket. No, did we I go, would go, we go to, to war? I'm going to Hawaii. Hawaii. I I'm would go if we do go to war. If the United States goes to war, I would uh, drop into the war zone and do comedy for the troops because I feel like such. I would do that. I don't feel like a man at all, and I feel like, well, how can I help at all? And I'd yeah. be, keep these boys loose. And if I got a fluff, I got a fluff. I would. <laughs> while you're telling jokes, <laughs> yeah, you. Had... I, I would 100 percent go perform for the troops. 100. percent We should go. Let's go. Let's you start know. another war. You heard it here. Hey. Come on, Biden. Start that war. Let's go. Start that war. Start bombing. I know. I um, I would do it because I, I, I just feel like I got to help this country somehow, and I'm not doing enough to help. Well, you're taking away more than you're giving, that's for sure. Yes. You're definitely taking away from do the Do you country. volunteer? You ever just volunteer? Like at a soup kitchen or a homeless shelter or something? Yeah, I have in the past. I, you know, the, the thing I like to do the most is, like uh, I've told you, we adopt a family over the holidays. We like to do that mm-hmm. and give them... Uh, Things that they need and want. We, we adopt Take a family. Take my wife. Take, please, my wife. We'll adopt a family and we'll give them gifts and all that stuff and yeah. whatever they need for the holidays. What'd you do this year? Who'd you adopt? Well, they don't know. You don't really know, unfortunately. Oh, it's like just a service. Yeah, you know that. Ew, it's, get away from me. Yeah, I don't want you anywhere near me. But I'll send you gifts over there. No, they like it. They don't want them to feel bad or guilty or weird. So they keep the people separate. Well, you which know are, what? Which I understand because they don't want like. This like uh, yeah, and th- and also I don't need the attention from them. I know just doing the deed exists. So h- helping out a family, I don't care that they don't know who did it or or put a name to the f- well, or face the name. You know who you helped? Huh. My family this year. Did I really? We got the gifts. Did you really? Yeah, we got the gifts. Jasmine, you know, sp- Puerto Ricans got the gifts. Oh my god! And they knew we knew that it, I knew that it was you because you the gifts you sent was just the red rocket posters that you didn't sell out of. Like, well. Those. Well, they were signed at the very least. You guys could put those yeah. up on eBay. And we got those. We got those. We got um, a bunch of golf clubs. We got season two of the Lil Dicky show. Oh, Dave, yeah. yeah season two d- of Dave. Dave yeah. yeah, we got, they gave us, um, somebody signed a Mixology, some show. <laughs> they signed a portrait for Mixology. And I was like, what the hell? And then Jazz was like, do you think this is, could this be, is it? And I was like, Mm-mm. I don't know why. We totally just random. That. I think it's accidental. Yeah? Yeah, I think it's totally accidental. Yeah. Are yeah. you going to do any more TV? You're not going to do anything like I that. I want to. Oh, you do? <laughs> I do? would do it. I don't get in. I don't Cause get you cuz the last thing you any did pot. was the the last thing you were you did was tough to was tough on you cuz you didn't want to be all the way over here filming and stuff. Yeah, and then and and I still um you know, uh I just want to say how much I love that show. Um <laughs> and um and, Backyard uh, Bar Wars. La la la. Yes, I love Backyard Bar Wars. Great, great people. Great. That's show. what it was called, right? That was what it was called. Yeah. And um, but you did complain to me not about the show, but about the fact that you're away from your family. You didn't yes. like it. So I want to do something, but in New York because uh, I I love doing the pods and all that and stand up. But I want to I want to try to do something else now. So yeah. I'm trying. I got a show that I'm trying to create, and you know how the shit goes. Maybe it'll go. Maybe it won't. But I'm trying, and that's what it's life's about. Control your output, not your outcome. Control your effort. Wow. You and like what, that? And how about your input? What's being put in you? 
Yeah. Anything? Uh-huh. I think a little tortellini, if you know hey. what I mean. A little well, maybe I'll tortellini. tortellini tonight. Don't, 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 don't. No? Are no, you going to eat healthy, or can we eat, like, pigs? No, we can eat, like, big old stupid pigs. I think that's kind of the move. And dessert. I got to get dessert, and I want okay. a coffee after dessert so I can clean house. Yeah. You know? And then we're going to the, go to the comedy store. Then we'll tell a couple of jokes, Fuck I guess. Com- I mean, are you going to go up to the comedy store, or are you just going to chill? I think I'm going to maybe just chill in the back and judge your shit. It was nice last night, too, because you went up and crushed Don and Steve were talking about how much your new material is great. How much I got a lot of new stuff. a lot of different new stuff. Because you, you just purged the old stuff, and now you're excited about the new stuff. It's more fun. I'm having more fun. That's for sure. I'm having way more fun than I did before. Right. Because it was tough when you're starting out after you get rid of an hour, and you're like, I got nothing. <sighs> but you felt like you could. You even, you have stuff. Well, but you did you feel like you couldn't even start writing your new hour until the old hour was taped and done? Kind of, yeah. Right? Like, you feel like you just can't, you got to purge it. That's I'm not how good, I feel. I'm not good at that of, like, I know people that already, like, uh, Neil Brennan's ass, he had, like, already a half an hour ready when the hour was Fucking being Fucking nerd. A dork. Duh, stupid Take some time ass. Off, dork. Yeah, I didn't. It, it fucks me up to that people can do that. People, like discipline. No, he's he's, he's great. Like, like Justin, like same way. His discipline is unbelievable. He's just got great discipline. He yeah. know, but also comedy is life. Right. And for me, comedy is my first love. But I have other things that I enjoy doing too. Right. So it's like for some people, like Taylor Tomlinson, for example. Yeah. You know, shout her she, out. She's she she is a. Uh, uh, Joke machine. A machine. Yeah. 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 She's she's constantly going and. To her credit, it's because she focused solely on stand up so much. It, it right. was, you know, and for me, I was like, I wish I could be that way, but I know other things tickle my fancy. Right. Like, I like to do other stuff too. It's just not to say I would be writing more. I'm just saying it's it's a lot easier when it's your main. Sam Morell. Right. Well, how are you going to. Sam Morell, uh, yeah. Norman. Yeah. These guys are fucking machines. They're well, so much stronger. Well, you're one of those stronger. guys. It's like, you. how are you going to... You focus on stand-up, but like what those guys aren't doing that you are doing is you're sta- also standing up for Ukraine. And they are not as much... So you're going around spending a lot of time standing up for Ukraine, getting out there, putting up flags, putting out flyers, doing your part to aid in Ukraine, and that takes time away from stand-up. Every time I get a check in the mail, residuals from a TV show I did, <whistles> send it over to Ukraine. Ukraine. Why not care package? Care package. Here it is. Whatever Why they, not? I'll, I'll give them whatever they want. I add it up. <whistles> Care package. Care package. <laughs> They're gonna in New York. What I've been doing is I've been taking down the Ukrainian flags and putting up the Palestinian ones. Well, you got to switch them out. That's at the way some to do point. it. That's what you got to do. Right. Only they, way to do it. Now do they get are they half mast or they're fully up top? I go fully up top. Mm-hmm. I go all the way. For me, I go hard to go home. So I got Ukrainian flags, Palestinian <laughs> flags out there. No American flags. No, no, no. Ew. American yeah. flags are gonna be like baseball cards at some point. They're gonna be worth something. Yeah. They're like, dude, you have a fucking American. You have a '96 flag? American flag. Whoa. Now, you, when you when you were growing up, did you have an American flag on your front lawn? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. My, we were big, big. Pri- my my uh, my grandfather used to fly an Irish an, I, an Irish flag at his house, and then I think somebody told him one time that if it's on a flag pole, the American flag has to be above the yes. other. Yes, right. But if it's not on a flag pole, if it's on like if it's just displayed, you can display other countries' flags. But on a flag pole, right. it has to be American at the very top. Yeah, I do. You see less and less American flags now. Now you see a lot of American. Lose the L. (laughs) 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 Yeah, you don't see him as much anymore. I'm going to get my special taken away right away. Yeah, come on. Come on. Everything we're saying is a joke. Relax. Uh, Hey, I might have a special coming out on Shmulu. Don't say it. It Don't give it away. Well, no, it's not Hulu. It's Shmulu. It's Shmulu. It's the, it's the, from the, it's, we're doing, I'm doing it live from the tunnels under the synagogue in Brooklyn. Shmulu. Live from under the tunnels in the synagogues in Brooklyn. (laughs) It's Shmulu. Shmulu. (laughs) Shmulu to be. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, that'd be so much fun to do a special like that, though. That would be really fucking sick. To do it, yeah. You're like, Chris Rock did three different venues. DeStefano did three different tunnels. Yeah. Is anybody in here, in here, in here, in here? (laughs) I want to do a special from like my like it'd be fun to do well Bamford did one from her living room did you ever see that in front of her mom and dad Maria Bamford I'm almost positive really didn't she do that am I crazy and like Phil and that was her special for real yeah, that's I thought, an awesome I, idea. Uh, uh, wait, wait. Now I'm like, am I? Uh, if, I think it was her uh, special from. That's an uh, amazing idea. Wait, living we, room. I have to find out because I'm like, live from her parents' living room. Yeah, it was Bamford in 2020, and it was, was just came. her and her two parents, and she did an hour. Oh, what am I saying? Not 2020. No, it was a long time ago. 2012. Sorry about oh. that. 
Uh, Maria Bamford's new special, where her parents are the only audience members, is available now. Yeah, she just did it literally from genius. her parents, and it's just them two. Does she live out here, Maria Bamford? I don't know. I don't she's know. a great comic. She's you ever meet her? Fucking genius. No, I never met her either. And uh, maybe I have, but in one of those moments where you're like, "Hey, hi, hi," never yeah. met, and then I think yeah, I probably met her at like Montreal Comedy Festival. But I, I like, she, but that I'm whole like, time I'm like, uh, ah. you know? poutine. <laughs> I want to go to Montreal. If you go to Montreal this year, I'm I going. haven't been in a long time, and I don't. But think if, I don't think I'm ever gonna go back. But if I went, you'd go. No. What? Nah. No, because you know, I don't know. I don't know. Take I, your wife. It's nice. Take your wife. How about that? Hey. Take my wife, please. please. I don't know. I I don't know if I'll ever. I don't know about festivals. I just feel like. Uh, yeah. You gonna do this Netflix one out here in LA? No, no, yeah, no. Either. I'm not a part of it. They they told me they didn't want me. They very loudly said we don't no want whites? you here. No whites. Go home. Go back to your country club. No, they go go. Yeah, go back to your country club. Club. They go back to where you belong, pal. Uh, uh, Jersey Mike's. Oh. So I went and had a sub above. Dude, I love Jersey Mike's, but I also love Quiznos. A lot of people don't talk about Quiznos enough. They toast the sub. I like Quiznos, but I think I'm a I'm more of a potbelly guy, which I don't know if you even have those. They have them in New York, but I almost never go in. Man, I love me a Remember good Remember Blimpies? <laughs> Loved. Used Rest to in love peace. Blimpies. You guys have Firehouse subs? Yes, but not really like it's in Long Island, not in the city. I know, but that's but they donate. You know, all the money goes to firefighters, so you should do. Does it? it? Uh, uh, something like that. It goes like a percentage of them goes to firefighters. I love the firefighters. Yeah, I love the FDNY, the NYPD, the DSNY, the Port Authority police. You all got my vote. The Port Authority, those uh, are my guys. Yeah, that's what I would want to be as a Port Authority. Port cop. Authority cop. Yeah, kind of easy, right? Yeah, I mean, you just like you stare at cars coming in and out. Cars, or like you're on this tr- train or on the bus making. Does sure anything these- really happen? Do they have to do anything ever? I'm sure they do, but I don't. I don't know what they would have to do. I guess, yeah. I mean, well, they uh, they protect the tunnels, which they didn't do a good job in the synagogues. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the support authority guy. He's like, "You were on the tunnels." He's yeah. like, "I know. My apologies." Yeah, yeah, he's fucking guys. They're slippery. These fall asleep at Jews. the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the Port Authority guy. Yeah, dude, yeah. they had a. Did you see the? Ca- they had the camera on like the hole, and then a Jewish guy like came, came out, out of the grate. He tried to like push the camera away, and he yeah. just ran away. It was fucking dope. I liked that they rioted and shit. I thought that was hilarious. That was fucking great. Have you ever been to like that part of Williamsburg? Like that? Well, only once. Only once it's did I ever go. Crazy. Yeah. Well, I I went one time with a friend. We were going somewhere else. We were like walking Greenpoint, right? Well, that where where like the Williamsburg, like you know, when you hear of Williamsburg, Brooklyn, you think like trendy, like you know, cafe, and it is. But the part of Williamsburg that is where that synagogue was, like that the Hasidic Jews, is like for a, I think it's like a twenty block radius. It is only Hasidic Jewish people, only Hasidic. And what will happen is, is you'll like in certain times of the day, like with traffic, if Hasidic Jewish people will just go out. On and stand on the corner, and then other Hasidic Jewish cars, who, they don't know each other, will just stop, and you get in their car. They all like do that, or like school buses, like will stop, mm. and Hasidic Jewish people just get on and off the bus, but they just stand on the corner and wait to be picked up by other Hasidic Jewish. Where are people. they going? The somewhere tunnels. else. To the tunnels. To the tunnels. I don't know where they're going, but that it's a crazy part of Brooklyn that a lot of people don't ever see that I you know drive I used to drive through it for college or whatever just being around New York but it's like li- literally everywhere you look there's nothing's even in English everything's in and you can't Hebrew. be over and you couldn't no. rent a place there if you tried they don't they would never, never let you never. in never and then all the apartments because they have so many children all the apartments have big cages on the outside. They put their kids in cages? Yeah, yeah. See, and you think it's just fucking, you know? You think it's just down on the border? And no, they, they, because people, like kids, like so many instances of like kids on the balconies would like fall over, fall out and like die. So they all, they're, uh, they're all enclosed. Holy shit. They had it's that wild. many kids falling out of windows? Yeah, because I they have so many children. Clapton. They have so many, ch- yeah, I know. Sad, Eric Clapton. Rest Sorry about that. Rest they have because these kids, you know, like tears they, in heaven, heaven. Would you know my, my name, name. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if I saw you in heaven? You have a beautiful voice. Would you be the same? That's how Clapton kind of sounds. Yeah. If I saw you in heaven. Is he still with us, Eric Clapton? I think he's dead. Did I don't he know. Die? You know, these are the kind of guys I don't know if they're gone or a not. A mega clap. Hello, is that I like on it? I make a clap. I make a clap. Uh, is Clapton dead? Yeah, he's Clapton. dead. He's got to be dead because he's one of those guys I wanted to see. He's alive. Whoa, yeah, he's there alive. You, go. you know what it is? Is uh, yeah, no, he's alive and he's he's kicking it. 
It, we're, he, he's still in England. He's in uh, oh, is he? Ripley in the UK. Hello, my name's Eric Clapton. That Thank song, you. That song wouldn't have worked with a British accent. No. If he was like, if I saw you in heaven, <laughs> <laughs> would you know my name? Yeah. Oi! Yeah, yeah. If I fucking saw your ass in uh, yeah, heaven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, your arse. Yeah. Your, your arse your in heaven. Your arse in heaven. Um, um, what, uh, let me say this. What? No. Go, go ahead. All right, go. I was going to ask you something else. Go ahead. No, no, go. I don't have anything to say. You already hurry up. You already have uh, so blah, 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 blah. Um, Fuck, Mary kill. Mm. Ready for this? Mm. FMK. Fuck, Mary kill. Mm. Uh, Sam Bankman Freed. Uh, kill. From FTX. Kill. What? I'm already. I already. I. I. The way I play is, you say a name, I say it already. I have to go on instinct. Sam. Sam. That's from FTX. Mm-hmm. Sam Bank from Free. Yeah. Kill. Uh, kill. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you've lost your kill. Mm-hmm. Sammy Davis Jr. Fuck. Okay. Uh. Um. Sam. Uh. Samantha. Um. Uh. Suzanne Summers. Mary. There it is. See how that worked out. Yeah. All right. You do. I'll do. Fuck Mary. Kill with you. Ready? Yeah. And I have to say it right away. Yeah. You do. Okay. Prince Andrew. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber. Kill. And Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd. Fuck. There it is, fuck. dude. You got to fuck Christopher Lloyd, yeah, my dude. friend. And you got to marry Prince Andrew. I want to be a little royalty. <laughs> I want to be royalty. I'm hungry. I want to go eat my food. But we don't got our resins till 6, 7, 45. You made it so late. Can we go early? Yeah, we can go early. We can go early, about? right? No. You know, you know the people in there like that. Because you said seven, you told me seven forty-five. Yeah, but it's gonna take us a long time to get over there. You know that, right? It's in West Hollywood. How far is that? Three and a half hours away. Oh come on! No, no, we're gonna go early. I just made it that time just in case, but they'll let us. Oh, in. but it is far from me. It will take a minute to yeah, get it'll over take there. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. It's easy. Yeah, but we'll, there's no way they won't let us in there early. They have to, especially if I'm with you. Is it gonna be packed? <laughs> It'll be bumping. Yeah. It'll be bumping. They got a Chaconis in New York, in uh, Brooklyn. Is it bad? No, it's good. And then I went to a Chaconis in England at the Soho House. Well, well, well. Yeah, good pizza. Good, fu- right, right, oh, pizza. <laughs> right, oh. Well, chaps, would you like a pizza? <laughs> <laughs> right, oh. Let's go eat. I love you. Okay. Um, go watch Christopher on tour. You know he's out and about. Go to ChristyComedy.com. Mm-hmm. He is in every single city uh, around this country. Well, no, I might be off the road by the time this comes out. When is this coming out? When's your last show? February 8th at the Grand Sea, uh, February 9th at the Grand Sierra Resort in Reno, Nevada. I have February 2nd. I have uh, I'm in the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville. <laughs> February 3rd, Warner Theater in Washington, DC. Love Warner, yeah. And then February 9th, Grand Sierra Resort in Reno, Nevada. Well, and then I'm gonna sure- film my special in Atlanta, but I don't know when. Well, we'll make sure that it comes out before February 8th. I Okay. I actually, you know what? How about this? How about this? This episode will come out on February second. How do you like that? So I'm in Nashville. So go to Nashville. Go, go see, to Nashville. I'm go here. see the young lad. Um, uh, we end the show the same way. I love you so much. Looking at that camera and end with one word or one phrase. Whenever you're ready, go ahead. Epstein's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> in here, we pour whisk, 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 whisk. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful.